what's up, YouTube? Hey, my name is Stefan, and um, I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania. And I fish uh, the Lehigh River. I go to the Poconos. Um, all over, all over Pennsylvania. I've been up to Lake Erie for steelhead. Yeah, but um, I just want to give a quick review on the Savage Gear Bat. In case you guys are interested in buying it. It's actually a good lure. But it does have its cons and its pros. So let's go with the pros first. The pros are... It's, it looks very nice in the water. And it imitates like even... Not even a bat. Like a bird fought that hurt his wing or fell in the water and can't get out of it. And it's like shuffling his way back to land. And it does, it does that perfect to a T. It's very nice. I love it for that reason. Um, it's good day or night, evening. It makes a lot of noise. It even has like a rattle in it. It even has a rattle in it. It's a pretty good lure, you know. The only bad thing that I see is just the wings. That's it. They tend to bend. And then you have to like, like, uh, here it goes. Like, I don't know if you can see that right. So, I think it should be up on the door. Let me get this side real quick. It up. So you have to like pinch it, pinch it, there you go. You have to see this thing right here, this thing right here, you hold that tight and you push pressure on the top of it and it'll bend right back in. But even though you have to bend it once in a while while you're fishing, a few times while you're fishing, it doesn't mess up the wing at all. Like it'll still work the way it needs to go. You know what I mean? If you bend it too much, though, it, it'll, it'll turn around. Like, it'll do, like, one of these. But other than that, it's pretty good. So, uh, I'm going up to the water on Saturday, and uh, I'll show you I'll show you exactly how this works. And, and what are the cons of it, as I was explaining to you in the video. So, we'll see Saturday. See you guys soon. Thank you.